Hi and welcome to our instructions on how to get an instant quote using our website. Very few companies offer instant accurate online quoting for t-shirt printing and that's because there are so many variables that can be involved in printing a t-shirt. We now have an online solution for you that's not only easy to use but it will also give you an accurate price and take into account the things that can make your garments cheaper. You can not only combine colours and sizes of shirts, but you can also combine shirts with the same print to get volume discounts, or you might want a front print of all your garments but only want a back print on some of the garments. You can also combine embroidery and screen printing, or add names and numbers to individual shirts. It's all possible with our quoting system and only takes a few clicks. Let me show you how. I can use these arrows to scroll through our categories. And I'm just going to back this way because I want to choose a t-shirt. Here it shows you the different categories for our t-shirts. I'm going to go for a standard weight one. And I'm going to pick a Gildan Soft Style Ringspung t-shirt, which is actually our best selling t-shirt um, for screen printing. Um, I can just scroll down here to the quote me button. Click on that and this screen appears. I just need to select my colour and I input some numbers. You know, I'm going to put 10 medium and I'm going to go for 10 large. Um, the next um, thing I need to do is choose the position, which is going to be left chest, and I'm going to go for a screen print, and I'm going to go for one colour. Um, this button um, is if we've used your design before, so you need to check that if we've got your screen or your embroidery disc. The next button is the quantity used in this position. I um, mean, you tend to leave this um, as the as the total number um, unless you want a few of them um, not um, printed in this. Um, with this design in this particular colour of the shirt. Um, but generally it's um, left at the same number. Um, the next option is to choose colours. This is optional at this stage. You can fill this in if you decide to proceed with your order. If you use this upload artwork button it means we can check that you have selected the right colour options for your quote. So we can see if your design might be better suited for an alternative print method. This can lead to significant savings so if you do have artwork it's worth uploading your artwork for us to have a look at. I'm now going to add another customization to this product. I basically want to have a back print as well. So I click on add, add the customization button. As you can see another screen appears um, and I just need to um, input what I want for this position and click next. Um, I can now add um, another product um, to this design. Um, so if I want to add some more t-shirts um, or to add some hoodies or something, I can just use this button, add product. So I click on this. I have these three choices. Um, do you want to add more of the same garments but in a different color but with the existing design? Um, or do I want to add other garments? Or do I want to add matching ladies, men's or children's if they're available for that particular style? I'm going to add more of the same garments but in a different colour um, using this existing design. This takes me to a copy of my previous garment I've selected. But I'm going to change the colour so I can just click on a Heather Navy colour and we'll get rid of these 10 large and 10 medium and just put in 2 extra large. I'm going to delete the back for these just to show you how our system works. So if I take away the back there I then click on next. Here I can add another, add more product if I wanted to, um, but I'm going to finish the quote now and just click next. Uh, this is actually asking me uh, that I'm okay with the same artwork being used on um, all the garments. Um, so I click OK. This takes me to the information screen and I'm an existing customer so I'm just going to put in my email address and my password. If you're a new user you'll need to register and you'll be sent an activation code via email. Please check your spam folder as some mail programs might place this email in your spam folder. You can then activate your account and choose a password. But as I'm an um, existing customer I'm just going to sign in and I just go to my top right hand side of the screen and as you can see I can click on quote history and this is going to show me my previous quotes and if I click on the last quote I've done and now you can see the base it's for 20 t-shirts printed front and back and, tw and two t-shirts printed just on the front. This quote is now saved and you can choose to edit this quote or create a new quote based on